So uh, looking at the second uh, example question uh, for partial pressure related questions, uh, the notes and the uh, organization of the videos uh, can be found at my website www.goprocaribbean.com slash dive physics three. So partial pressure questions seem to cause quite a lot of difficulty for a lot of people in the exams uh, and it's surprising given that they're actually so simple I think it's the simplicity of them that causes the difficulty so here we have a question and it is asking uh, for the partial pressure of nitrogen in air at 15 meters assuming you're in salt water so the first thing we need to focus in on is the type of gas the question is asking about it's asking us about nitrogen uh, as far as all paddy questions are concerned you can assume that air is made up of 21 percent oxygen and 79 percent nitrogen so nitrogen in air we're going to write down the 79 percent as a decimal 0 0.79 step two is to multiply with partial pressure questions you always multiply uh, the partial pressure of the gas is determined by the uh, percentage of the uh, gas in the total gases and then the pressure that that gas is under which is why you always multiply uh, and then the final step is to work out the pressure the gas is under 15 meters is 2.5 atmospheres in salt water so we put the 2.5 under step 3 and we have our calculation now what we need to do is get out a calculator and that will show us that our total partial pressure of nitrogen if we are breathing air at a depth of 15 meters in salt water is answer C 1.975 atmospheres So there's uh, more videos, not just on partial pressure, but on many different topics uh, covering everything you need to know about physics, as well as how to use the RDP, ERDPML, and the uh, RDP table. And there's also stuff on skills in the environment, physiology, and equipment.